Now with Zumba, uh, when you go to the gym, sometimes you have a, an exercise regime which yeah. uh, you know has sections and times uh, that you start. With Zumba, do you, can you jump in anytime, anywhere, or does it have like uh, you know, like if you went to a class, yeah, there's a syllabus, start, there's a, yeah. yeah, there's a place Correct. to start, yeah. and then maybe you become uh, semi-professional and yeah. professional. Yeah, you know, you start off with a basic warm-up, and then you go on to the stretches. Everything that happens in the middle mm -hmm. is easy. So you don't need to be a beginner and you don't need to, I mean, you can you be a beginner or you can be a professional and you can be doing the same thing, the same thing. and be doing it the same way and the right way. So like I said, in Zumba, there's no right, there's no wrong. Mm -hmm. You can start at any point but in your life. But is there like a structured exercise regime? Yeah. No. That works, like, like now if I came and I wanted specifically yeah. to work out my arms, yeah. is there an exercise that I can specifically do for that? It, when it comes to Zumba, mm -hmm. you just come in. From, th from the start of the class to the end of the class, mm -hmm. you'll be working out everything. Every part of Even your, your arms, even your legs, even your heart. Wow. Yeah. That sounds very interesting. Yeah. Um, do you teach coordination? Um, yes. I mean, look, there's, uh, Zumba is different uh, when it comes to... Um, what, the, what the instructor does is it's not... Uh, there's no verbal cueing. So, you know, in, in, in aerobics, there's two steps to the right, yes, two yes. steps to the left. Mm -hmm. In Zumba, I'm not talking. It's only directional. So I'm only going to, like, non-verbally cueing my moves. And you'll see it's so easy to follow because the person who's behind me and who's watching me in the mirror in front of that in front of her mm -hmm. is not going to um, get lost because they're able to watch my legs they're able to watch me in the mirror and they're able to watch themselves mm -hmm. so automatically you can see that you're not doing that you're not in sync but yet you're moving and you're trying and without realizing at the end of that song you already burst out in a sweat Wow. yeah so it's, it's all just it comes in naturally I wouldn't say you need to be 100% coordinated mm -hmm. yet I will teach you how to, how to coordinate. I will try and improvise. I'll try and um, correct you. But if you don't get it, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. E anything goes anything at that goes. time. Yeah, hakuna <laughs> matata. You, you mentioned that uh, there is uh, a, a specific one for children. And I think that's a matter of concern because with the, with, the, with the lifestyles we have today, we, have, we are finding younger people who are very obese. Yes. Again, uh, we used to have games that we used to play in them days where it would be literally cardiovascular. It would very, it'd be very difficult to find big children who, uh, yeah. who are obese. Yeah. Uh, so how does that work out for the children? Yeah, there is a special program for children. I mean, you can... Um uh, they're also welcome to come to a Zumba fitness class, like mm -hmm. what I teach. Mm -hmm. um, and again, like I said, for children, maybe we can break down the steps a little bit more so that they're able to follow. And obesity, again, I said, like I said, you know, it's not once they hear the music and once it's something that they want to hear. With kids, you know, they have their own taste of music. Right. They want R&B, they want Gangnam Style, they want Timber, they want whatever they want. And when you ask them what kind of music it is that they like, you can always improvise that. You can always use that music and and um, choreo something in terms of Zumba for them okay. to make it more enjoyable for them. Now that they're enjoying themselves, mm -hmm. they look forward to it. They'll even forget that they're obese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they start moving. You'll be shocked at how, how, how kids how can move. move. All right, Brenda from Nairobi. Good morning, Brenda. Good morning. How are you? Very well, thank you. Your comment or your question, Brenda? I have a question. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I wanted to offer Sorry, Bre Brenda, I'm not getting you clearly. Um, repeat the question, please. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, mm -hmm. I wanted to know. Hello? Yes, you wanted to know? I wanted to offer him something. Sorry, Brenda, I think the connection is not very good. I missed the question. You wanted to know? I wanted to offer him Zumba X something for Okay, I, I didn't quite get the question. Brenda, I think the, the network is not very clear. Uh, maybe you could try calling again. Uh, but the other category that I was going to ask is in regards to um, uh, somebody who's expecting, somebody who's pregnant. Um, again, first trimester of uh, pregnancy is most crucial. I wouldn't recommend it. Mm -hmm. However, when you've passed five or six months, engage in it. Don't over don't accelerate yourself totally mm -hmm. but in terms of just enjoying the moves just to keep moving 
there's nothing wrong. Even if you go on to YouTube and you punch in pregnant women dancing Zumba, you'll actually people see, find. you know, people who wear small vests like this and their bellies are showing and they're okay with it. Mm -hmm. You know, on the contrary, I think it's enjoyable for baby because within yourself, you know, you're actually soothing the, the babies and, and you, and you never know, they the might music. be born a Zumba, you know, zoom, <laughs> little Zumba. They might come out dancing, yeah. Zumblets. <laughs> there might be little zoom blitz. Uh, no, there's nothing wrong. So long as you're not having it high impact, mm -hmm. you stay at low impact. Okay. And obviously as an instructor, I will, if I feel that you're overexerting, I'll just come round and say, pole pole. Okay.